Может ли приемная мать принять на себя проклятие приемной дочери? Can a stepmother take on the curse of her stepdaughter? A gypsy woman had predicted to my mother that she will die at the age of 30. But as she turned 30, instead of her, it is grandmother who died. Say, my mother's step-parents passed away as well. Is it possible to find out whether there is something of this curse still on me? Most probably there isn't. It has been neutralized. This happens quite often. A woman dies instead of another, a mother dies instead of a daughter. It is called a voluntary sacrifice. It has crossed it out. According to the Christian tradition, it nullified all sins. Absolutely all of them. All your Jews have been nullified. The ancient pagan rule that likewise explains this phenomenon sounds simpler. It says that the one who loves has to share the fate of the loved one. And here, love is the proof. In the name of the loved one, one can sacrifice his life. And in this case, it is one's own child, biological or stepchild, but the love is proven. And this means that there will be no curse. The gypsy woman has foretold, predicted, cursed. If she foretold, then it means that she has read the information of the negative developments within the destiny that is passed along the bloodline, passed within the family, or from the previous incarnations. If she did curse with an intention, well, I have already said this many times, as sad as it might sound, but it is impossible, even for gypsies, to send a jinx or curse someone without an existing cause. Another thing is that gypsies can impose a punishment that exceeds one's fault. For a slanting gaze, for example, or for telling her to get lost with her panhandling. What for any other person would be no ground for culpability, but for this tribe, for this tribe it is enough of a reason. This is the power that's been given to them. Everything else has been taken away. But this power, they own it. Just keep this in mind. Whether to you it seems just or unjust, horrible or incomprehensible, this is the way it is, for now. If you want to understand the reasons for this, then start by learning the magic history of the gods that stand behind this folk. Once you have studied it thoroughly, and possibly they themselves will tell you some of their secrets, then you will probably understand for what reason they were given such power and why was all the rest taken away from them. But back to your precise question, whether there is something of the curse still left on you, with 99,9% .9 certainty, no. There is nothing on you. It has all been washed off through a mutual, voluntary sacrifice based on the principle of love.